Let's go. Hey guys, this episode of Make It Real is sponsored by Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. They came to us and said, hey, can you make some epic loot from our game real? They suggested the Royal Skull of Crushed Carl, a terrifying hammer weapon made from the skull of one of the fiercest dungeon keepers you face in the game. Taking the skull of your defeated enemy and making a weapon out of it? That's pretty epic. Oh, and by the way, this is Lord McBucket. He's your wacky guide to the world of Opulencia, who helps guide you on your mighty quests. I'm gonna get started on the most important parts of the project while JT starts on our hammer. JT, by the way, is our newest intern all the way from South Africa, and he's gonna be taking lead on building the skull hammer. So to do the CAD, we're gonna to want to reference. So here we are, we're gonna scan in our little skull friend here, and we're gonna turn around a 3D scanner and put that model into SolidWorks so that we have it as a visual reference. Now, while JT is working on designing the skull hammer, I'm gonna work on the most important part of the build. My Lord McBucket costume. Right, so now we're going to use our CNC plasma from Elite Metal Tools to cut out all the bits that aren't being turned on a leaf. Oh, 
Oh, that's not very deep. Oh, first fish of the day. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. Cycle start. Look at that, that's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Little little warm, it's kind of burning. Okay, we are done turning our two pieces and they look pretty great. So the next step is to weld so that they're one piece. Right, so now we've got our pieces that are, and it's all ready to assemble. The cool thing with this design is that the back of the hammer and the point are all one continuous solid tank piece. So if you hit something with it, it's not just gonna crumple. For someone who's not a welder, it's not half bad. So we finished the grinding now. We have these beautiful looking bevels all over, very shiny on our hammerhead, and we're ready to move to the next stage, which would be putting a handle in. We can move on to the skull part. We're gonna put our friend here, mount it on here, put some LEDs in the eyes, and we'll be golden. Probably gonna have to grind out the teeth a little bit to make it fit. Done. JT, this isn't finished. You had one job. Uh, well, you know, it's almost there. It's a work in progress, you know? You're putting the, the skull on. Have you even tested it yet? What? Test it? It's not even finished. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah! Alright, what's next? There we go. Sweet. Cool. Alright, I was a fan of that. I think we rammed the point home. What, you bored of this yet? Did you try turning it off and on again? This round's on me. Wow, let's have another round. Hey. Kaleidoscope. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a ball. And then shards of sharp glass and Orbeez pelted everyone around. Love the, sound. the sound of thousands. All right, ready to bring the pain. Beautiful. So what is Mighty Quest for Epic Loot anyway? It's a super fun, brand new mobile game from Ubisoft. With cartoony, colorful graphics, it takes me back to the good old days of gaming when I was just growing up. You're a brave adventurer who has to fight his way to victory while collecting epic loot to help you on your quest. With special skills and talents, you can take on even the biggest hordes of monsters, from goblins, skeletons, to even banshees. Plus, with the in-game crafting and upgrade system, there are limitless possibilities of ways to play the game. And using the royal skull of crushed Carl Hammer? Damn, it feels good to be epic. One hit KOs! But seriously though, they gifted us the hammer, which will soon be available in the game. But trust me, it's worth it. Download Mighty Quest today by clicking the link in the description box below. Plus, every download helps ensure our channel can keep making these awesome projects for you. Oh, well, hammer's not gonna finish itself. It's a welding. That should sit nicely there. Oh, look at that. So 
the studs are in the bottom. They look great, but I need a faster way of doing it. And I've got these rivets here. They'll look pretty good too, and they'll be a lot quicker. So I'll be able to put this copper collar on around here and another one and rivet right through. We're gonna use epoxy to bond the handle wrapping onto the handle. Okay, so that was a pretty messy job of it, but uh, I don't know, I'll just clean it up and then we'll be all ready to go show Lord McBucket our beautiful little hammer. Well, it sure looks pretty, but let's see if it's as easy to wield as it looks in the game. Okay, well, that's pretty impractical, but let's go smash some more stuff. All right, so JT has finished building the skull hammer from Epic, Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. And to test it, we're gonna be destroying this oven. But before we do that, let's see how much it weighs, because as you know, we tend to make things a bit heavy here at the Hackstone channel. JT? <laughs> 34 pounds? Yep. So just over 14 kilos. It's actually pretty light. Oh, way faster. Wow. So the stove is on. It's working, as you can see. How many hits do you think it will take before we bust the skull off the axe? Let us know in the comments below before you watch this thing. Ready? Go. Oh, yeah. Like. Round two. <laughs> All right, is anyone else on turn? JT, get in here. Oh! Now the skull. Hold on, I can skull check. Look at the expanding foam. Oh, that's horrible. That lasted way longer than I thought it would. Yeah, it was great. Pretty impressive. I was... <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, Mr. Lord McMacket, good to see you. What, what, what happened to crushing Carl's skull hammer? Well, Where, where's the skull? A, it's a little bit broken. I just, I'm getting a new one. I, I said adventurers to the dungeons of the Amazon. They get to go fetch it for me. And then we'll, we'll build it for you. Good as new. Right, if you guys want to play Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, click on the link in the description below and come find me, Lord McBucket, to help me guide you on your quest. Oh no!